Well, testing for coronavirus has become a key question in the fight to control the spread of it. And there has been concern about the lack of availability to test everyone who wants one. And today, Governor Baker announced that the state received the supplies needed to test an additional 5,000 people. But the governor is still concerned that that is not enough and is urging the FDA and the CDC to allow local institutions to do their own testing. He's really looking for more help from the federal government. Mm. A researcher at the Boston University School of Medicine are working on the testing issue. Dr. Malika Marshall had a chance to speak with Dr. John Connor, an associate professor of microbiology, about an hour ago via Skype. Professor, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us a little bit about what you're working on in the lab. What is your goal? Yeah, so one of the lab's research goals is to help develop point of care diagnostics, meaning diagnostics that you can use not in a central lab, but at the point of need, so in a doctor's office or in a remote setting. So you're working on a test that could be deployed out to local doctor's offices, hospitals that could quickly test for coronavirus, is that correct? So that's the goal. We have in the past done a lot of research trying to develop these tests for other viruses such as Ebola or Lassa virus. And now we're turning our attention to trying to develop these same diagnostic technologies for COVID-19. And why is it so crucial with this novel coronavirus to come out with a test that can turn around results pretty quickly? I think it's important to be able to have tests that can not only turn around results quickly, but can also be done at multiple different places. You can imagine that there would be situations where you want the power of a central lab. There are also situations where you would want to be able to do a diagnostic right there, right there. So it might be similar to a rapid flu test or even a rapid strep test? Yeah, tests like that I think would be very helpful in a circumstance like this. And what have you learned specifically about this novel coronavirus compared to another coronavirus like MERS or even influenza? So this is still very early days, and so there's a lot that we're learning about the virus. Uh, what we're doing in the lab is really focusing on how is it that we can develop new diagnostics, validate them effectively, and move them as quickly as possible to where they can be used. Is there anything that you've learned so far that has surprised you? Uh, I think almost everything about this virus has been completely surprising. Are you optimistic that at some point in time we will have a rapid test that we can quickly deploy out to other locations? I am optimistic that that will happen. There are not, it's not only my lab that's working on this, but a number of labs both around the Boston area, around the country and around the world who are trying to bring these things effectively to be able to be. Wonderful. Professor, thank you so much for your time and we wish you the best of luck with what you're doing and we're keeping our fingers crossed. Thank you so much. Mm. I think my interview with Professor Connors shows how lucky we are to live in the Boston area where there's so much innovation and people are, you know, furiously trying Dr. to... Dr. Sachs to, as well, of yeah. course. Right, of course. We certainly are.